Hello my dear children, welcome to your science class. So last class we learned about the joints. We learned three types of joints. They are immovable joints, slightly movable joints and freely movable joints. And in last class we learned in detail four types of freely movable joints. They are ball and socket joints, hinge joints, pivot joints and gliding joints. In today's class we are going to learn about muscular system. Before learning about muscular system, teacher have given you a small homework. Let's discuss the homework which I have given you in last class in page number 74. So in page number 74, multiple choice question. The first question, only mobile bone in the skull is, the first question is, or the only, the only movable bone in the skull is dash. So the options are, a upper jaw, B lower jaw, C face bone and D ear bone. So when we learned about the skull, we learned that there are 22 bones in the skull and we learned all these bones except one is movable and the question here is the, the only movable bone in the skull. Dear students, what is your answer? Yes, the option is B that is the lower jaw bones. Now the second question, which of the following has a ball and socket joint? Which of the following has a ball and socket joint? The options are A, shoulder, B, hip, C, both of this and D, none of this. So last class when we learned about the freely mobile joints, we learned about ball and socket type of joints and we learned Examples for bone, bone and socket type of joints. There we learned that shoulder and hip joints are example for ball and socket joints. So the option here is, the answer is option C, both of this. I hope all of you got the correct answer. Now let's come back to today's class. In today's class we are going to learn about muscular system. Muscular system. So in this chapter, we learned about the bones and the joints which gives frame to our body. Can we move our body if we have the bones alone? No, isn't it? The bones alone cannot move. And we learned these bones are attached to the ligaments and the muscles are attached to the bone with, with a strong tendon. The function of the tendon is to attach the muscles to the bones. Muscles present in our body help the bones to move. For all the activities in our body, the movement is possible with the help of muscles. These muscles help the bones to move. So the function of the bone is to give a framework to our body, whereas the muscles are helping the bones for the movement. Now the number of muscles varies from 656 to 800 in numbers. So the number of muscles varies from 156 to 800 number of muscles. Among this, almost 639 of muscles are skeletal muscles. They are skeletal muscles. So 639 of muscles are skeletal muscles. And each of the skeletal muscles are having particular movement. They are the muscles which control the facial expressions like smile. They are the muscles which help in the movement of the body, which helps in the chewing of the food and the movement of the food through the digestive system. And the muscles are even helping in the, and these muscles are even helping in the beating of the heart. Muscles alone cannot move. Contraction and relaxation of the muscles are required in order for the mo for the movement of the body and the body and the body parts now when the muscles are contracting what happens is the muscles pull the pull the bones along with them so the contracted muscles they cannot be be relaxed and place the bone back for in order for that other muscle is required for the for the pull back of the muscle that contracted
so likewise the muscles are working pairs for the movement of the bones This two muscles are working together as a one pair for the movement of the bones. Now, I know all of you are practicing yoga. So, this yoga is mind and body practice and it gives many benefits for your body. It helps to maintain, it helps to tone your muscles and make your bones more healthier. I hope all of you understood what I taught you today. See you in next class. Thank you.